In this video, you will learn the solver setup needed to carry out external aerodynamics of the solar car. First, we will run the steady state case, assign the material, provide boundary conditions and enable turbulence model. Then we will set up the report plot, initialize the case and run the calculations until solution gets converged. Set up the turbulence model, under viscous model let's apply the K-Omega turbulence model and activate Gecko. Under the materials, let's check if air is assigned as the default option. The name selection will automatically have boundary condition assigned to them, which can be changed. A 27.78 meters per second inlet velocity. This converts to 100 kilometers per hour. Let's make sure that outlet is set to zero gauge pressure. This is because the outlet is exposed to atmosphere. Let's change the grounds and sky zone type to wall. For the front and the back wheel, let's activate rotational moving wall. Input the rotation axis origin as shown on the screen. The value as shown on the screen can be extracted from space claim. Rotational speed of 104.83 rads per second, which is your inlet speed divided by the wheel radius. The axis of rotation is in the Z direction according to the right hand rule. The fairing is a no slip stationary wall. Replicate the back wheel settings for, for front wheel but the input the origin of rotation as shown. We have a moving ground at 27.78 meters per second in the X direction. In real life, the car will be moving but, in the simulation everything else will be moving relative to the car. The sky is traveling the same speed as the ground so 27.78 meters per second in the X direction. The wheel radii are traveling at the same speed as the ground. Update the reference values as shown. And add lift and drag coefficient of the fairing in the wheels, highlighting plot and print to console. Let's initialize it. Make verbosity to 1 and run about 250 iterations. Make note of the pseudo time step. This value will be compared later in the video. As seen, the residuals, CL and CD are oscillating. This can be due to vortex shutting forming at the rear of the car. We are going to make a contour of the shear stress. From the shear stress contour, we can see where the flow separates as when the air is not touching the surface there will be zero shear stress. Pick fairing as the surface and make the maximum range to 1. To see where the residuals are oscillating, we are making an animation of the shear stress contour. Run about 30 iterations. Let's view the animation.
As seen, the oscillation is near the back wheel. This tells us, that the flow features around this area hasn't been picked up accurately. Let's input a user specified time step of 0.01 seconds. We can find this time step because the smallest feature is the wheel radii. This is about 0.3 meters so dividing this by the speed will give us a pseudo time of 0.01 seconds. Even though it's a steady state simulation flu and adds a pseudo time step. And this helped the solution converge. Change the iterations to 300 and edit the animation so that it only records every 5 iterations. Let's run the simulation. As seen, the CD and the CL values are leveled off. Go ahead and check the animation so we can see if the oscillations are stopped. We can conclude that the flow has converged in the areas of interest. Thanks for watching and in the next video, we will look at the post-processing of the results.